Welcome everybody to our next installment of Home of the Week. This week's home is brought to you from one of my favorite, favorite neighborhoods. I sold multiple houses over there and there's a wide variety of great houses in this particular neighborhood and it is in Racine. It has some amazing great houses at somewhat affordable prices and there's a wide variety of houses in this neighborhood from quite small, really inexpensive ones to rather large ones that cost a bit more and this week's home of the week is between 250 to 300,000. So stick around and find out why this agent may have put the price on of two of between 250 and 300. And I'll give you that right after this. Yeah. Oh, here we go. And we're going to jump right into this. So first of all, if you find some value in our home of the week or house of the week every week, then do us a favor, click like, subscribe. Definitely going to ask you to comment on this one because I want to find out your opinion. And I'm going to ask you an opinion question at the end. And I really want to see what your opinion is. So be prepared. Give me your opinion at the end of this video. And so let's jump right into it. So first of all, our home of the week this week is... 2616 Oregon Street. Now, 2616 Oregon Street is in a great neighborhood. I personally, in fact, I was just at this house and when I walked, I was walking this neighborhood the other day, um, advertising this channel actually. And when I walked up to this house, I just had an inkling and a suspicion that this house was being prepped for market. And here we are, boom, a week later, and it's on the market. So I am not surprised that this house came on the market. It had that look and it had that feel like it was getting prepped for the market. So I, what I didn't know about this home though, is I didn't know what the details were and what it had. So this home of the week is brought to us by Welcome Home Real Estate, which is a company we love to work with. Um, Aaron's a really good guy. I like working with him a lot. And um, he does a lot of this type of homes and you know, generally okay on pricing. Let's take a look at this. I think this seller might be testing the market a little bit, but we'll see. We'll get into that and we'll see. So first of all, it is a ranch style home. Almost every home in this particular neighborhood, and I would call this particular neighborhood, um, we don't actually have a name for this. It's one of the very few neighborhoods in Racine that doesn't have its own little like designated name. And I've asked lots and lots of people about it, but essentially the neighborhood goes from about Oregon Street all the way to Ohio. And the reason it starts at Oregon instead of Lathrop, like most other neighborhoods would in this section, is because you have the school right there. You have the Johnson School right um right there in the middle of this neighborhood and these houses all surround that particular school it is a school that a lot of people for elementary love 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 their kids to go to so it's got a great elementary school in the area and it's um in really nice houses that were all built in like the 50s and 60s so they were solid solid built some of them are vinyl some of them are brick this particular one happens to be a combination of both which is again very typical in this neighborhood what sets this home apart and when i first saw it um when i first saw it on realtor.com it said it was 2000 square feet well i did some digging into the tax records it's actually only 1400 square feet above grade but it does have a full basement underneath it and there apparently are 600 square feet of finished space in the basement it has three bedrooms on the main level and it has one bath on the main level and one bath in the basement attached to this rec room but it is a full bathroom it has a full shower sink toilet what i don't know at least it has all three pieces. What I don't know is what it looks like. And we're going to get into that here in just a second. This house is listed for 270000 and a great, great neighborhood. But it has another special feature we're going to show you here in a little bit. So first of all, let's take a look at the exterior of this house. Um, you can see it's in really good shape. Um, in general, the house is, you know, really decent. It's brick on the outside. On the inside, it seems to be in good shape. It has newer carpet, but you can also see that it has all the older doors. Now, they're all in really good shape. I would call this a granny house. Um, there's nothing wrong with the doors. They're just not the most current style. And But they are probably solid wood or at least a really solid construction version. Um, and also, again, I don't think that's necessarily the best view because when you walk in this section, when you walk in the front door, you've got like the dining room right here off the kitchen. But really, 
if you look at this next picture, the living room spreads out way beyond this. So I think, particularly think this would be a great area for seating. Um, so this area right up, right up here, that little area we were just in back here would, I mean, it'd be awesome if you at Christmas time and you want to put up a Christmas tree. How amazing. It doesn't really get in the way of the rest of the living room, but you got full view. The street's got full or the side of the house actually has full view of this particular window. So and that'd be kind of a great place to put a Christmas tree. Um, but looking at this, this is the living room. And as you come around, you swing around a little bit. Here is the actual front window, so to speak, of this house. Now, you could put a Christmas tree there if you want to show it off to all your neighbors because you also have these wraparound windows. And let me see if I can zoom in on this a little bit. So you can kind of see, oh, too much zoom. Let's take it out a little bit. So you can see how these windows, they are one, two, three, four windows here. And then we've wrapped around to a thinner but double window on this side. Really, really a cool design. It gives you kind of a, a really good view and aspect of the street. So if you want to put a sofa there, but still be able to keep a quick eye, you can look out the side or out the front and still be able to see everything. So I think that's a really cool, um, I think that's a really cool looking aspect for a living room. And as you come in, you can see the front door is right here. So when you first come in the front door, you've got a coat closet and you're right into that wall. And then you've got this little probably originally a dining area um, before the carpet was put down, but now it's just a big, large space. Um, this is the kitchen. And as you can see, the kitchen kind of swings around a little bit. It's not that curvy in real life, but it is, um, but it is a great kitchen as far as it's got tons of cabinets. So some of these older homes did not have cabinets up at the top here, and this one does. So they've maximized that space with different cabinetry and different aspects there, as well as the regular cabinets here. It does have full appliances. They're not stainless steel. And the one appliance you are missing right above the stove here, you could, however, take out just these two cabinets and put in a... Um, a microwave if that's what you wanted to do especially if it has one with an extractor fan built in that could be really really handy but it's a decent sized kitchen and you'd only lose a couple of smaller cupboards if you took them out and put in a microwave up in that space so absolutely but it does as you can see have a dishwasher which is also great frankly at 270 you should expect to see a dishwasher so moving around you can see this a little bit more you can see as well that looks like there's um, this corner here the reason it looks a little curved is because of the fact that this is triangular so they have a triangular sink and you can look out the window if you're going to be doing dishes or in my case if i was loading the dishwasher and you're looking out over the back back aspect and the side aspect of this house a little bit which is kind of nice now you've got one of the bedrooms and you've got a second bedroom Here's the bathroom on the main level. It is quite dated. It looks like it's in great shape, but definitely dated. Um, and then here is bedroom number three. And so you've got your three bedrooms on the main level. There's another picture of that bedroom. And here is that bonus feature or that unexpected, what we don't normally see in this neighborhood. Now, this neighborhood has a mix of one to two car garage typically. But in the case of this house, it has a three car garage. So if you're really into cars or you've got a lot of extra bikes or toys or something you want to store, this is great. Like, if, like in our case, we have a boat and it would be great to be able to store our boat in that third garage and still be able to put two cars in. Be a little tight, but we'd put up with it. Now, the thing you will lose though is because this is still a standard size lot in this neighborhood. So you're going to lose some of this backyard. And what we can't see in this picture is we cannot see how much of the backyard is grass and how much of it is concrete because it has not been plowed up to the garage door. So not really sure how much of this is grass. That's something you have to see in person. It does have a really great ramp out the back. So if you do have some mobility issues, then this could be a great house because you're going out the back to your car and getting right in your car and you do have a ramp out the back. If you don't, you could always remove that ramp when you buy the house and, you know, just get rid of it, um, sell it on to somebody else who might need it and then have more backyard space or more uh, flexibility with your backyard space. So it is a decent sized backyard. Uh, picture are a little deceiving. It's not quite as big as that looks, but this neighborhood does have some really decent sized backyards in general. So this was the 
was from Welcome Home Real Estate. And what you will notice, the other thing that is glaringly missing from the home of the week this week is that apparently there's that 600 square feet below grade that in the basement that's been finished into a rec room. And supposedly there's been a bathroom down there as well, which I don't doubt it because Aaron's an honest guy. And Welcome Home Real Estate's a good agency. Where I think they've missed a trick is in showing any of that basement space. Now, it may not be beautiful, but wouldn't you like to see it? So here's the question I have for you. And here's what I want to know in the comments below. Of course, you can leave any comment you want below. But here's the question I'm asking of you. As people who are buying homes or looking at homes or interested in looking at homes, would you want to see, even if it was outdated, would you want to see pictures of the basement finished and of what that second bathroom looks like? Or do you just want to wait and see it in person? So when you're ready to go look at it. So it could be that that's a marketing strategy that they've adopted that they're like, okay, we're going to tell you there's finished space, but we're not going to show it to you in pictures. So you got to come see it in person. Call us up. We'll get it you in. Blah, blah, blah. That could be their marketing strategy. And it's not a terrible one. But um, personally, me, I think people want to see the pictures. They want to see what's there before they even go and look. So question for you. Would you say that you want to see the pictures of that finished space or would you say you'd be okay without the pictures of that finished space? So leave a comment below, say, yes, I want to see the pictures or no, I don't really care. I don't need to see the pictures of the basement to look at the house. And I'll be interested to see how many of you choose that one way or the other. So um, I may, if I can figure out how to do it, I may put up a poll on this as well. But anyway, Thanks for joining us as well as we looked at the home of the week. As I said, this home of the week is brought to us by Welcome Home Real Estate and you're welcome to contact them if you want to see inside of this. Of course, you can always contact us at 262-676-2383 and we'd be happy to show it to you as well. But props to Aaron and his team over at Welcome Home because this is a really great little house and it's, you know, actually 1,500 or almost 1,500 square feet above grade, it was 14 and change, um, is a very spacious house upstairs. So the bedrooms are decent size and the kitchens looks like it's a pretty decent size and you can just configure it however you want. Let me know in the comments below. Do you want to see the pictures from of the downstairs before you go look at a house or does that not matter at all to you? So yes, I want to see the pictures. No, it doesn't make a difference and give us some feedback on that. Of course, we love to see any other comments you have or any other questions you have about this house and once again you can either call welcome home real estate to go view this or you can call us at 262-676-2383 you'll get to speak to me when you call that number and russ will be the one to show it to you and so i can just get that because i kind of manage his schedule and get everything coordinated for him so hopefully you if you're in the market you are considering this house it is at 270 but that's partly because it has that three car garage which is pretty cool. And it does have finished space in the basement, which is also really cool. Um, so anyway, let us know if we can help you. Bye for now. If you got value from this video, do us a favor and click like. If you'd like to see more of the same, then subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any of our content. As always, we love to hear from you. So leave us a comment below and we will absolutely respond. We'd love to get your feedback. And if you have ideas for content that you'd like to see, we absolutely welcome them. Have a great day. Bye for now.